Hi everyone, it's Calvin from the future. This Life is Strange video, the audio, the commentary I do doesn't sound very good. I think it sounds way, well, not as good as my usual recordings and hopefully it sounds better now with my microphone. I think I just changed the setting by accident and it didn't sound very good. Uh, we'll see how it all works out though. I hope you still enjoyed the video. Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Ormer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Life is Strange. I didn't even notice we changed our shirt, which is actually pretty nice. It's a nice little shirt of a deer. Max says she likes her wardrobe, so we're going to like it too, for sure. Um, Taylor, how are you doing? I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Well, this is probably a good way to like get to interact with Hi, them. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. So she told you about that. Uh, let's not fight. I'm not... I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smoke yeah. talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything Oh my god. So like, talk. by the way, Max is doing more than, like, anyone should. Right? Kate is really upset about the video. It's cruel. All it's, this gossip is cruel. It's 100% cruel. cruel. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Like, 100%, I agree that, like, if she was going around the place, like, preaching celibacy to people and saying that, like, you're wrong for um, exploring your sexuality and stuff like this, of course, like, that's, like, some you should just keep that to yourself as well. 110%. But, like, this isn't a two wrongs make a right situation. This is a, you know, if you're talking about the magnitude of the wrong that's happening now to poor Kate, it's the magnitude of 50 wrongs against one wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what it is. It doesn't equate. It's not two wrongs make a right. It's... 50 wrongs against one wrong makes it a hell of a freaking terrible situation for someone. Um, yeah. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean. Yeah, and she calls you minions. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. You know what? Never mind, Taylor. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now, if you look. Sorry, you go back to your sitting against the tree there, Taylor. <laughs> you go back to that right now. I think I saw Warren in the opening scene. There he is. Warren, how are you doing, buddy? Private number. This is Nathan's father. <laughs> this is a message to let you know that the attempts of slander and blackmail must suddenly met with lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student of Blackwell to try, so I hope you're not the last. If I'm not the first, this considers a I should reply and say, first of all, you can't do private numbers through text, can you? That's impossible. I would reply to him and be like, okay then, fine, sue me. See, the thing is as well though, they're not going to do this type of stuff, by the way. Like, 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 rich people don't actually sue people. They th they threaten lawsuits. But in real life, um, they're not going to sue you because then that puts it in the paper. All of a sudden, the information is in the paper and then people have to explore more. Journalists have to explore more. If it's the idea of like a kid hold, holding a gun in, in a school, that's going to be all over every news site, not just the news sites in Blackwell. That's going to be everywhere within minutes. They wouldn't do that. That's why I'm not afraid at all. And also, look at my goddamn dad. He'd kill Nathan. Murder him. My dad's a bear. Yes, come on over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you say come on over here? Meow is on your shirt? Warren is out and about already too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. I wonder who. Have a good day, Warren. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But... Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took Oh, this call. poor boy got anyway, knocked. I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Oh, you want to rap about it? Um, thank you. We'll say thank By you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. True. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was I still awesome. stand by we should have given him a few Even kicks you left uh, Nathan. Me with said bully and ran yeah. off with that girl. She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <laughs> uh Chloe Price. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock it was, star. She was she was very Which cool. Which begs the question. Why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Um, do we want him to get involved? See, the thing is, this is what's always like worrying about these 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 things. So if we say don't get involved, we're probably saving him from getting in trouble with something. But I feel like as well, Warren is such a nice guy, and I do trust him. 
to not like go too far with this. I will say I busted him because I I feel like Warren deserves a bit of an explanation as to why he got a kick in the face and a, and a headbutt. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. Yeah. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. No, he's not! You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! <laughs> yes! Yes, that's exactly what yeah. I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> I'll text you the info. That was easier than I thought is an interesting thing to say, right? Because then what he's thinking is he was standing there going, okay, look, what you'll do is you'll have a conversation with her, talk to her about everything, and then like say something funny. Make it like kind of like uh like he's saying this to himself. Make it kind of funny, be like make it sound like there's no pressure to it, make it sound like that if, if she says no, I can easily be like, Oh yeah, that's cool. Like it was just a casual thing. And uh that was all going through his mind when he asked her. And it you know, of course he's such a on the nose person that he was kinda of like, Yeah. Um Sure. <laughs> uh, so we have a new journal entries, by the way, to page 25. Um, so I guess we'll read out this as well. The plot thickens and I can't get out. So after listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on Kate about the video, I came back to my room to find creepy photo ma montage of o uh, only Nathan would be this disturbed. The thought that Nathan was in here actually setting up this weird gallery is way fucked up. I better start being more careful around here. I almost want a surveillance system now. As if things weren't dramatic enough, I got a creepy text from a private number, Nathan, Victoria, no clue. It's Nathan. I really have to start watching my back. I still had to give Kate's book back, so I went to her room. I knew she wasn't doing good, but I didn't know how bad it was until I went in. All the lights were off, blinds closed, like some emo goth then. And Kate in the opposite uh, is in the opposite of emo goth. She was just crying in the dark and so sad to see her like this. It really is. More sad, it was uh, that I wished I could take a picture of her framed and her expression is misery. At least you're honest about your flaws, but like, I draw. I drew as a teenager a little bit, um, but not very well. I will say this to you right now, guys. Like, never once have I been like, someone's crying. I can't wait to take a picture. Uh, Kate admitted that th that's a great drawing of Kate. Uh, Kate admitted that she thinks something more happened to her than just the video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party DDR, and I think she did something to her, but she doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what kind of person and what kind of person Nathan is. Uh, I've seen for myself exactly what that fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate. Uh, of course, Kate asked if she should go to the police and the principal. I told Kate she actually should go to them. Other people could be in danger. But Kate also said that she would use me as her backup, which kind of scares me because of the text threat. Should I be getting this involved when somebody's obviously stalking me or worse already? This is super. Uh, this is getting freakier than I can handle. Super Max. Nah. This line here, Nathan Victoria, is weird to me because I think she's just scared. Because Victoria so far has shown that, like, yes, she's a nasty goddamn girl. What she is doing to Kate is absolutely horrible. But she has no problem coming up to me and saying this, not through text. She would just come up and say it to me. I really feel that's the way that would happen. So, reading these uh, kind of like little journal entries. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens, Finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but from a safe distance. For some reason, I always, uh, I'm always drawn to an analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not, I'm in great company, right? And now, I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without her once, uh, talking to her once in five years, and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. I'm 18 now, a finished little adult, barely, even though I don't always feel so wise and mature and I'm ready to begin a whole new life with a retro camera on my side. Do you, you will not feel like an adult for a while. Um, not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell, often do we get to be a mentor by one of your inspirations. I've always loved his deco and got style, and he's so versatile, uh, with all his incredible print and advertising work, still Jefferson can be a bit condescending, a bit. He's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof sometimes and pretentious, uh, yes. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right, but I do think he's preparing us for how tough the uh, full-time artist is. He did do that, yes. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in this Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I like to think my work could be enough to win. I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. 
I can't figure out why where Prince of Wales is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was uh, uh, that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. I used so much power over my scholarship. I get uber nerved around him, which makes sense. Like, by the way, that's like not how you use your power at all. I've seen him nervous laughing at his teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be too if I was had to oversee Blackwell and all of its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol on his breath, but I, I couldn't have been his clone, right? But in my first meeting in his office, and he was so nice, it made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought I was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. Just need to lay low around him until I can gain some of his trust. Um, I understand where she's coming from with that. That's like, like obviously not for me personally. But like, there clearly is this thing where like, she's nervous to even like say, like, and I think that's why she was, she said earlier, hey, I'm, I'm nervous about my scholarship with this guy. Then there's Victoria Chase, the League Blackwell Academy and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 years old, the prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class, talking and taunting Kate Marsh. Uh, for reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off uh, that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she knows art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. Uh, ugh. He keeps distance in his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's someone she can't buy or seduce. Um, the way I see Victoria right now is that, again, yes, yeah, she has all that money, but she doesn't have like what other people have. You know what I mean? She's trying her best to, like, drive home to other people that she is, like, good. She is a good artist. She is, like, rich. She is cute. She is all this stuff. Um, and people that need to reaffirm that for everyone else generally don't believe it themselves either. You know what I mean? <sighs> oh, my America, Confederate flag. Ugh. Uh, well, I swear the security guard is the biggest ass here. And that's saying a lot. He always treats everyone like they're committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he kicked out of the army or something. That's... What in the world would you have a security guard working on a school campus who got kicked out of the freaking army? So, of course, you end up Blackmail Academy in charge. Yes, like, why are you supposed to feel, like, secure? If you, to get kicked out of the American army. The American army. Like, what do you have to do to get kicked out of an army that, like, I don't know, that would accept mostly anyone. Bro, dude, swaggers ever with that badge and gun like he's looking to tease somebody. He would make a good photo portrait of the authority, though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It'd be like living in the barracks. Um, just another person I'd to avoid a black will at all costs. Yeah. Uh, we will avoid them. We'll avoid them. See you later, Warren. Thanks for taking a headbutt for me. So we have to go meet up with Kate. Not Kate's. Jesus Christ. If we were, I wish we could meet up with Kate again. I love the visuals in this game. They're gorgeous. We're going to meet up with... Uh, Oh, there's Nathan and the and her, the dad guy that we just read Maybe is... Maybe talking to Nathan cannot yeah. be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. So, like, it's actually very, very... Oh, that's a gigantic bus. <laughs> who's take, who's the bus driver? I thought that was the bus driver. <laughs> That's one of the students. <laughs> Just putting on my scarf today, you know? Bus driving time. I love how, again, like I said, there's so much, like, beautifulness and, like, go and, like beauty in the, in, the, in the mundane. Getting on the bus. Sitting down in your chair. You know? They don't need to show this, but it adds a lot to the, like, ambiance and, like, the environmental storytelling. I really feel it does. I feel like it adds a lot to, like, the, um... Immersion is the word I'm looking for. Um, I feel immersed in this world now. The music gives me chills in this game, too. Um, the series is doing so well, by the way, and I thank you guys for that. Which is almost a shame that, like, it is getting, like, demonetized in terms of, like, uh, claims. Uh, and that someone else is, like, claiming it. Um, like, if you see ads on these videos, it is literally those, the singers of these songs getting the music, which look fine. You know, they made the music fair enough to them. It's a beautiful town. Um, but it's almost a shame, you know what I mean? 
Especially since this is the job, you know? <laughs> but look, uh, that's why we have like a Patreon and all like that. And uh, also, I just love this game. So like, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't like to... The way I look at it is that... Um, Zachary's on the freaking bus. This is such a cool town. I want to explore the whole thing. I'd love to live in a small town like this. I'd love it. But um, like I'm saying, like uh, I make my living off of other people's art. The least I can do is respect the art. You know what I mean? Man, this is such a cool like town. I need to live in a small town. I'd love to like move to like Colorado or something. Is that a place that's cool, Americans? Is that cool? I'd love to like move to like Colorado, like. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. Huh? I wouldn't dream of it. Oh my God! Do we get to explore? The, can we explore the whole town, or is it just this place? Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. This is so cool, man. Can we explore this whole town? Can we go for a walk? Oh, she's gonna beat us up. Look, she's looking. She's she's doing tough guy walk. I didn't do none. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket. Don't right go here. waving that around, man. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Don't go waving around. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Um, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late wow. for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. I, Thanks, I sure need it. Can I put it in the, the context as well? This, is, this was also a huge time- oh, she's coming back. I'm back. Um, I don't want to go that way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the game was like, Calvin, you're not playing. You're not playing an open world game. That's. I can't even cross the street. <laughs> Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Um, take a look at these cars, though. What's a nice car? But yeah, put into context. This is also during like um, still during the recession. It was about to like calm down a bit, and things are about to get better very soon. Um, a little bit better, for sure. Um, my family was definitely affected by it. Um, I think a lot of families were affected by it. Um, so, like, you can imagine how hard it is, like... And, like, that's the thing as well with, um, Chloe's family. Like, you know, a family that's already down on the luck is gonna even be even worse on the luck than afterwards, you know? Um... I'll be lucky if you make it, uh, by noon. What? Somebody better. Oh. That's weird. Is this the RV we could have written something on? There's that dirty RV from I didn't see the dirty RV. Are you a dog? Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. Oh, we can't talk to him because of the dog? Maybe if we find some meat. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. Not really. He just seems like he's relaxing. That's the type of stuff that I love. Like it like and that's why I feel like the like it's not it's not nearly close to the culture and like the kind of welcoming aspect of Ireland. Um, but like one of the things I always love about American stuff is like the, the 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 times I feel like more at home in video games like it's close to like where, where like I grew up is in the smaller towns and when you see people like outside like a, a mobile home just like drinking beer or something it's it's very Irish to me you know what I mean and it it, it makes me feel comfortable almost hello fisherman what do you have here look at all these flyers it's so sad that nobody will read them yeah. Restore the life of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay. End the man-made drought in the bay. So it's like an environmental thing going on here, is it? Hello, sir, fisherman? He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. He looks fine. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some sea. <laughs> okay, fish. Max. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. How uh, has the town changed? Has, has the, the town, town changed? changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has... Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Um, your own boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. 
Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Disgusting. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Be... That, that is disgusting. <laughs> that is awful. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. But I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. That's I'd a good line. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. That's a great line. Again, to talk to people as well is really nice as well. Save our city. Um, if if uh, if if my town changed from Arcadia Bay to Prescott, whatever. I would be, I would literally complain forever. I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall in the briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon, this week. What do you think about the snow? Newspapers are going to be retro soon. You think? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. Great character design Hard here as well. They all just look like story. real people. Clouds. You know what I mean? The snow was odd. How, how long have you lived here? Like they did. Like like I'm not saying they're not attractive. That's a weird thing to say, but like like everyone's not this crystal clear Disney looking style character. You know? The snow was pretty. They odd. look like real people. It's right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. <sighs> Global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. Oh. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. <laughs> the paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Yeah, but that's it's pretty it's pretty this town is I don't want to talk about Rage Lambert. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. So this guy used all the lines in the book, by the way. Um uh, like, and Max clearly has dealt with this at, like, the Christmas dinner table or something, because as soon as he started going, like, global warming bullshit, <laughs> she was like, change subject. <laughs> like, she totally understood it, like, the, the assignment. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. To be homeless in such a small oh, town is you. A fine insane. Example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Oh, yeah, let's talk with the Prescott uh, family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. I think I agree. I think I definitely agree. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce what is in him, but he better treat her right. What does that do for anyone, though, man? Like, if you see a homeless person, you go, get a job. Like, what does that do? It does freaking nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Bro, you had a job and you got kicked out of your job and you had to get a different job. I was here. I literally got kicked out of the army. Then I became a security guard. Do you all think I, didn't, I got two jobs that I'm not qualified for? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. I have to go now. Goodbye. I think I I I didn't mean to. I want to see if there's anything Don't else she says. Me any old time oh no! It's uh, it, that was it. Okay. Um. I was worried I misclicked there for a second because I was literally like, like was like, okay, we'll click through the the. As I was looking at the recording there for a second, 
It's my bad. It's okay. Yes, we're open. Bacon and eggs. That's pretty expensive. <laughs> what? I mean, by 2013 standards, that's expensive, right? I mean, now I could get, I could get bacon and eggs for, like, unlimited bacon and eggs. Not unlimited. Tw 12 eggs in my local shop. 12 eggs. 12 free-range eggs. Is... 4 euro. And then... Like, bacon. Rashers. 1 euro 50 for, like, a good pack of, like, 7. So you could literally make, like, at least, like... Seven good bacon and eggs meals there. If you want to make really good ones, you know, like just adding more bacon to it, you're talking about like three for like less than this. That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. To me anyway. Now, the dollar is worth less than the euro. Like, it, it, like that's, that's more euro. That's probably around like... Like seven euro maybe? Maybe more? So, yeah. I've never been in a diner. They recreate them in Ireland and in other places. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. It's nice. Mm, makes me feel 13 again. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? <laughs> if by big you mean none, I'm sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Sorry. In fairness, though, yeah, like you're eating your food, and I come along and I'm like, hey, I hey, got you any big fish? Oh, man. I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Oh, God. Why does that so not sound fun? Thought you pretty cool. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Also, the Bigfoot myth or science and Bigfoot monster or Sasquatch. Narrator of the documentary Bigfoot, I believe in you. Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his expensive knowledge and lore. Legend, the fact you'll end the day casting your very own Bigfoot print based on the area known as Chuck P. Pierce Jr. Um, people were also saying that they wanted me to play to... Uh, someone was saying, sorry, that they wanted me to... And there was likes on the comments, so that's why I always go like, Oh yeah, there's more people that want me to do that. That they would say they want me to play the Detroit to Become Human. Whacked students with guns. Um, I've I've played I played Beyond Two Souls, which was a David Cage game. Now I imagine that like he's gotten better. Like I did not like Beyond Two, sure, Two Souls, but people tell me that damn tourist. that's way better. That they, that Detroit Become Human is way better than Beyond Two Souls. You never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Trevor, all the skater boys. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rail. <laughs> Shouldn't you be taking photos? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I need to get my coffee on too. And throw in a little green bud and you have the perfect hippie cocktail. You are so not a hippie. Oh my school god, no. School girl. School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking Trevor's out right the there. Room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, man. Oh my god, that's such a pretty funny interaction, by the way, because Max, like, again, is a teenager. Like, and she sees the skater boys, which she's really into, and she goes immediately into, like, laughing at their bad jokes and rubbing the top of her hair. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta laugh at this bad, this boy's terrible jokes. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Bro, I think that Dana needs uh, some stand. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell. That's a good way of looking at. Seeing class, Max. And I'm so I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like be like you know like oh like you're you're not you're not cute or whatever. Like you do whatever you want, bro. Like and and it's clear that like people like you and you're a funny guy. So literally, it doesn't matter like what like I think or whatever. You know what I mean? Like at all. Um, I just think that maybe the animation was a bit weird on his face, which is really funny. So I guess we have to probably like yeah, we have to sit in one of these boots. Um, take a look around though. Drool. Want everything. Man, I'd love a muffin. 
I love a muffin right now. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. That actually looks really cool, doesn't it? Well, like, that type of stuff is, like, really cool. Like, the authenticness of, like, a... Uh, there's a diner in, in Sweden that, like, had bars on the window and all this stuff. And, like, and I went in and I was like, oh, this looks really cool. And oh, it had, like, all that stuff on the wall. Joyce? That's so perfect. You know what I mean? Stuff like this. And, like, I knew the food was gonna slip. Band guitar tune? Come on, Joyce! Is that Joyce? That's definitely Joyce. <laughs> That's definitely Joyce. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Can we talk That's to Joyce fine. or can we talk to anyone at the counter here? Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. It's tough work though. It's tough work. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Oh, he's such a good design. Everything is in eyesight. Sorry. What? Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. That's fine. No, it's no problem. Like, if we were like, everything's in your sight, like, go home, man. Max, we, we're not going to be like that to people. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Yep. Those rigs are too dangerous. And it's tough as heck. I don't feel like talking right now. I got to deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. That's a great line. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Um. Oh, okay. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Wait. Wait, who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scan. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt wait, it. Wait, wait. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody. Wait. As if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's... Oh, yeah, she he is. He is. is. Friend of yours? Uh, I know her. I know her. Wait, then you know David reported to the police? Wait, what are these? Oh, I, I missed. That's my bad, guys, because I was I'm being too reactionary. Hold on a second here. Um, we'll see it here now. That was, that was my I fault. Joyce? Then you know she's a handful. She's, okay, that's my bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was, I was just, I was just caught up in something. Um, no. She's great. No, I think she's just had some yeah. bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy but I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so. To me, the whole idea of like creating your b good luck and all this stuff is so ridiculous because like literally the entire course of your, your, your life, the entire direction of your life can be changed by where you are born and what your situation is. Chloe, like what can Chloe do about her stepdad who hit her? She can't do shite about it. She can't at all. There's no luck involved in that. There's no, like, like the, the, it's bad luck. There's no good... You can't create good luck out of that situation. What can you do? To be on David's side, right? And this is just the thing. And this is my home prediction about this. If she changed to be more um, nice to David and, and give David, like, what he wanted, a good daughter who stu who's about America and safety and all this stuff, um, he would find something else to be angry about. Because angry people who are aggressive like that will find other reasons to be aggressive. If she changed all her ways, then obviously then the next thing would be uh, something else. Like, oh, you're not wearing your dress in the right way. You're not doing this in the right way. They find other things to be angry about. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling. Abroad. Calling. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. 
I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. If you get By kicked way, out of the army... The thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. If you get kicked out of the army, I don't think that you can at all say that you served your country well. <laughs> In my opinion, I don't think you can say it. No, that guy looks unpleasant. Okay, we won't bother him, I guess. Kate Marsh loves you long time. What, like, this, whoever wrote this is such a freaking idiot. Rachel A. Amber owes me a BJ. Gross. So does your mom. That was not me saying it, by the way, if you're listening to this and not. What does it say? What does it say? Free walk with me. Fire walk with me. Okay. Uh, Arcadia Gay sucks deck. This is the intelligence level of people that use this type of stuff. I'm just saying Thank this. Thank you, redneck poet. Arcadia Gay sucks deck. <laughs> I aim to misbehave. That's a cool line. Flush before pissing on the floor. That graffiti has been here forever. Okay, so it's been there since she was last there. That's pretty cool to know. Rachel Amber owes me... By the way, this type of stuff here as well. Like, and I'm just going to say it right now. Like, when boys write this stuff, this is bad. This is... And I, I will say, and obviously you blame the boys, but it's also bad parenting that they weren't taught at a young age that, like, they can't just do shit like this. And also then it's the environment that they're in as well because you're hanging out with a bunch of boys who thinks this is funny. This is going to be what you're going to be doing all the time. And then people go, well, when they turn 18, they're going to grow up and be mature enough. Putting on a suit and going to work and getting a shirt and getting a tie doesn't make you mature at all because those boys are still going out on a, on a at, at 25 years old on a Saturday night to do this type of stuff that weren't told this was wrong and weren't put in their place. They're still doing it 10 years later. Just in like a more like an even more dangerous form because now they're adults... Now they look more trustworthy, you know what I mean? And this type of stuff is like, I know you're reading too much into this. this. This is just harmless banter. This isn't harmless banter to Rachel Amber. This isn't stuff that Rachel Amber looks at this and goes, this is harmless. It's disgusting. Um, this this as well. This is just, first of all, it's 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 um, it's racist. But also at the same time, this is just like something that like only a fool would do. And if they're not taught that it's not okay to do it, um, with a bit of shame or maybe even the Bock in the face, they're never gonna stop doing it. You know what I mean? That's just the truth of it, guys. I'm sorry, but it's the truth of it. Let's wait for Chloe. Even though we were late, Chloe's even more late. <laughs> Her mother's beautiful. Will she recognize us? She yeah, she did. Young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you. Lovely again. voice. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, I love the voice. You still look pretty. Yeah. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. Oh my god. I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms. That's not all you need to know. He's a good man. He just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you met Sorry, a uh, good man would never hit someone like that. Hit their hit their stepdaughter. Um, Even if, like, he does... Like, and I'm, I'm sure he will do some stuff that does add to his character in this game, guys. It's hard for me to, like, not think about that, right? Like, I hope you guys understand that. I hate him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay This is an interesting line, yeah. Anyway. I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. 
I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands, we'll say. Chloe understands. She yeah. just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Nothing. Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. I disagree with this. I disagree with this personally. Her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Um, yeah, there's no excuse to hit her. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Um, I'll, I'll say this, like, just before we go any further. Like, I am I feel like I'm very fair when it comes to people. One of the things that, like, my, my, um, that people joke about with me, and I, I know I'm trying to make myself, I'm making myself sound so cool here. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm just saying, like, from other people's perspectives, they say I'm very forgiving, and they say that, like, Calvin could, like, that someone could like literally come up to Calvin in the street and attack him with a knife and the next day Calvin would be like, oh yeah, look, it's okay, don't worry about it. That's what, I've always been like that. I always will be like that. Um, I always live by that Cohedon Cambry line. Why, what, what's life worth living if it hurts to be forgiving? But here's the thing, right? I'm very different when it comes to other people. I'm always like the person that's like, you need to have respect for yourself and you need to like, honestly, like, not just forgive people right away, not forget about things that they've done. People really need to show that they've changed. Saying that you've changed and swearing that you changed, like, really does mean nothing. What needs to happen is, like, an actual growth and an actual change. And um, to 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 be with in a house with a girl for years, to get to know a girl, and slap her across the face because she smokes some weed in the house, um, regardless of what way you could look at that, that's not good. That's not good. Um, but I'll take a bacon omelet, thank you. I was dreaming about your bacon In my opinion. Omelet. Anyway. Now finish your coffee. He he. I don't know. Like, and also, by the way, he played in his dues in the army. Like, I don't give a F. I really do not care. <laughs> I don't oh, care. Hitting hitting her is not a draw, okay. The menu or the prices? Actually, the prices are like actually like compared to nowadays. If you got this type of price nowadays, would not happen, right? They would not happen. Like a tea for one dollar will not happen anywhere. A breakfast cheeseburger for five. Yeah, that's actually like pretty cheap now. That is actually very cheap compared to now. Bacon at twelve o'clock high. I love the delicious nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. X, X plus Y equals Z. I like that there's movement in here as well. Should we take a drink? Can I get some beer and bacon? This is like fourth dimensional It's so life. cool, this environment. Going back in time. <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. True. Incoming. We got a bacon omelet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love omelets. Stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. That has to be now tough, to yeah. That has to be tough. Uh. Speak of the devil. 
And the idea of Chloe staying the same. Oh my god, yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. She's so cool. Uh, the, Max, together again. Staying the same. I do and think there's Chloe some element of truth that we'll talk about in a little bit. Put your whole damn college fund on your tab. <laughs> I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me? <laughs> Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon. Um. Okay. Here's the thing. If 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 you if if I'm slapped by you someone, I can call him whatever I want. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. I don't think you. I think don't think you need. That was Let's clearly someone else's song there. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here. Yeah, now. but you won't remember it, though. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? <laughs> no, you have to take this stuff out of your pockets first. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. So, I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? We have okay, to show me what's in the pockets. Girl. Let me show you what's actually. Yeah, in the yeah, 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 yeah. And then we rewind it back. Yeah, okay. So you got coins, a bear, that was cigarettes. Beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. So we have. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and Bear. don't forget anything. Cigarettes. Coins. A, par a, p a, a ticket. Out of parking bay. Okay, good. Let's go. Rewind back. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love that she does it like... So, this is me telling you what's inside <laughs> Okay, Max. I'm like she's doing a presentation. I said, that was my presentation. Do you have cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. That yes, was easy, you know, though. I'm a smoker. Yeah. But how many cigarettes? What? Six. Six cigarettes. Absolutely. Wrong. Oh, okay, I didn't know I had to like. Girl, let me show. You. I didn't know I had to study what's actually how many cigarettes are worse. How many cigarettes are there? Let's take a look again. Okay. So there's a black and white bear that looks like a panda. There's panda. one, two, three. There's seven. There's seven cigarettes. There are. What even are these coins? Okay. One cent coins, five cent coin, five cents coin, quarter dollar coins. One quarter equals 25 cents. So quarter dollar. Okay. And a parking, out of parking bay, uh, Twin Peaks register, 10, 4, 34 a.m. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm going to tell you what's in your pocket. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I would tell you what's in your pockets now. This is me. Okay. Okay, Max. I'm so you got cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. And you got seven cigarettes on you, seven Chloe. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Yeah, that's my only power. Let's Amazing. leave it. Something else in my pockets? You got keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a black and white panda bear. A cute robot panda keychain. Yeah. Not bad, Super Max. Okay. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Caulfield is an Irish name. Yes. Um. A parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? It was. Ten thirty-four. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Okay. Even a broken clock is. I'm sorry though. Like if if my but friend got three of those things right. That's enough for me. <laughs> That's Some enough. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Twenty-five cents. You lose. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's acting. Girl, like, I'm sorry. Okay, let's count this these coins up again then, shall we? Let's coin them. Let's count them okay, up again, because like so I didn't know I didn't know I had to be counting the coins. So we have 
these are ones and so one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have uh, 11. And then we have a bunch of quarter dollars. So that's already 25, 25, 25. That's 75. So 75 plus 5 is 80. So 91 cents. Is that, am I getting that right? Is that right? Okay, let's do the coins first just to be sure. That's what sound it does make in her head when she's doing this. And you know it is. You all, you guys know it is. Ah. So let's start with the coins. Like, I'm sorry, but if, if someone got my parking ticket time right... Clearly I'm rich as... I'm terrified. Wait, no. Did I get that wrong again? I got it wrong again. I can't do math. It's 86 cent then, right? No, 82 cents. Because there was three quarters. Oh my god, Calvin. Is it 86 cents? Or 82? I thought it was 91. Why did I think 91? Three quarters. A quarter is 25, right? So there's three quarters. That's 25. So that's already 75. How is it? 86 cents. That's right. Living large in okay. Arcadia Bay. Okay. We just did the math so wrong. That was cool. Show me more. How do I get the, I did... Guys, I'm so embarrassed I did the math wrong. I mean, it's just I'm not used to American monies. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> you decide. Find out next time. Uh, keys. Your card. <laughs> you decide. You decide. <laughs> A cute... Not bad. Steve. Decide next time what we're going to do with that. I'm pretty you got seven yeah, cigarettes super. on you, girl. This took 52 tries for me. I'll be honest seven. with you. Super. Amazing. Uh, you got a parking ticket, girl. I know you a do. A parking ticket. You know me well. Uh, it was 10.34 a.m. 10. Booyah, man. There we go. He's like, I also have this. Ketchup. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. I bet it is. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. Joyce goes over here. She drops Did the you stuff. Break another cup? Really? He drops the stuff. No refill for you. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. Yeah, take you the fight club outside. It. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's life. So jukebox broke. So what are you waiting for? Oh, let's go. Okay. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Um. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Then, right, um, and he eats a donut and his partner leaves. This? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, Is that right? let's just see how this goes down. Justin, Trevor, Fight, and Joyce beats them. Justin, Trevor, Fight, and Joyce stops them. Joyce encourages them. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Holy, Chloe's so excited about this. Jukebox goes crazy. A cockroach crawls in. A fly lands in. A butterfly lands in. A trucker plays a new song. This is this the is. Jukebox it? goes crazy as the trucker. Because someone play. I heard someone song. saying this is be much Pretty better. Bizarro, Max. 
But let's see if everything happens. Like I might have gotten some stuff wrong. I definitely might have. I thought it was like being super observant. But like, I just thought like I I, I thought we just didn't see the guy. Hello. I just thought we didn't see the person doing the. Oops. Dude, did, did you, you right? break another cup? Really? We got that right. Refill for you. So look at the hey, trucker breaks his cup. This call leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? I think Don't not, Max. Me, bitch. Oh, he didn't leave. He was looking for his partner. His partner left. You okay. It. I'm finishing it. That, is that was wild. right. Oh, it's a cockroach. This is yeah. a sad day in Maxville. Okay. I, I genuinely thought that like we just did like a glitch shower or something we didn't see the guy. I'm very bad like I I promise you I'm not this bad at directions, guys. Predict. Like I literally just like like um like I literally just thought that I was like, hey, it's weird that someone said hey, this new song is better. I thought like it changed it and we didn't even see like it was a glitch or something. I don't know. I, I um so and his partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio yep. and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um, Joy stops them. Justin and Trevor. This is getting good. And then it's a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if ever. Oh, because this is right. If, if you get more of a cutscene, if it's right. Okay, fair enough. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? go, Mom. No refill for you. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the Yeah, like, box? literally with the, the jukebox, I literally was like, did we not I see someone change it? Because someone was like, this is real music. Power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. Oh. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. Maybe we did. Play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. Cool. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Can we say goodbye to Joyce, or...? Or do we talk to her to leave? Chloe? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit. Who is on the yeah, phone? Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. There was no way in hell I was not picking up the phone to Kate. There was no way Thanks, in hell. Max, if you'd rather chill with Kate, please. Chloe. Go ahead. You are ridiculous. Yeah. I'm chilling with very, you. Very, very ridiculous. For now. Let's that was, rock. Like, and obviously she's she's very self-conscious about it. She's lost two friends. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I'm not like like there is no way in hell that I'm not picking up the phone for that girl. Like, there's no way in hell that wasn't going to happen, guys. There was no way in hell. But that there is going to end this episode for today, guys. And I thank you guys so much for joining me on this crazy journey with this uh, beautiful game. 
Um, but yeah, I wasn't, there was no way, like, it's not about disrespecting Chloe. There was no way I couldn't just pick up the phone. Uh, but I thank you to Tyfire 2 Jamie Bull, Giant Banana, Normal Kara, Rachel S, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicious Felix, George Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Pokegirl, Cheddar, Fruity, Orange Bank, Summer Oasis, Death Trap, and Anusta. Um, guys, I hope you understand that I wasn't trying to be disrespectful to Chloe. If some, if a friend who is in distress and is clearly in distress and you know they're in distress calls you, try to pick up the phone. 